<clears throat> your event is starting. And let's see. We should be live. All right, we are now live. Welcome to the live stream. Hopefully it's Let's good. get a little, ooh, I'm <clears> gonna <throat> mute this. Give it a little uh, applause. Yep, I know, that's bad. But you guys will have to let me know um, for like the sound quality and stuff like that uh, because YouTube was giving me all these issues um, and stuff that I don't want to have to deal with. Let me uh, change this driver and click OK. So welcome to the stream, guys. Let me know. Whew, listen to that sound. I'm going to quickly listen to the stream real quick. Um, and stuff so I can make sure that all the audio is good before we jump into this. And click OK. So welcome to the stream, guys. Let me know. All right, we are good. Um, what's going on? Great. All right, cool. So right now, um, I know I've kind of been building this up for the longest time, but I'm working on my massive, massive um, effects pack. And this is something that I've been hyping up for almost a year now. I've just never had time to do it. But so far, we have close to um, 154 high quality audio sound effects in this pack, as well as um, I think the, just under 200 and 50 some transitions or a little over 250 transitions and all these transitions are kind of um, crazy like it goes pretty much anything um, so I'll give you a little quick rundown on what I'm working with right now like for example I was just finishing up some mirror glitches so all of these transitions will have um, the sound effects attached to them and the way this pack is going to work is that once you have your clips um, in your timeline, like let me close all these bad boys, and then once you have your footage in your timeline like your, that you want to transition between, all you have to do is drag and drop the effect that you want. So for example, I can drag Mosaic 5, and as you'll see, it drags on the transition and all of the audio effects. So then playing it back, as you can see, I'm playing it back in full resolution, and it's instant. So this pack is going to be designed to help you edit faster and honestly it's going to make everything easy. Um, I'm also including um, some light leaks as well um, in there so that you can just kind of quickly drag these over your clips and then um, all you have to do is change the overlay to like either overlay, probably not overlay, probably screen. And then you can get these little um, warp or these little lens flares on top of your transitions and it, it's kind of designed to make editing so much more fast and right now I decided to live stream because I had a couple questions um, for you guys since I've been working on this for close to six months ish um, it, we're trying to figure out a price point because I've talked to a lot of people and they have said anywhere from um, $30 to all the way up to $300 and I'm kind of in the middle uh, because the the difference between this pack, if uh, let me pull up my launch site that I'm working on, the difference from this pack than any other pack is that it's going to constantly be updating. And by that, I mean that I'm going to take the time to see what you guys like and see what you don't like. And um, from that, I'm going to tailor the pack to you. Um, so basically this is kind of like my launch site that I'm working on um, you can see like the drag and drop video transitions it's seamless um, and it's constantly growing that's a huge portion of this effects pack all the transitions will have the audio attached um, so you can also go through 150 high quality custom um, transitions I'm pretty sure there's even 75 whoosh transitions but the thing that's really awesome is this pack is constantly being updated um, and this is like my change log that you can see if I zoom in a little bit. So I, I'm constantly updating it and started back in uh, the third, uh, the third month and then adding transitions and right now I've been crushing it because I want to get this out to you as fast as possible. Um, and what I was thinking is um, since I've spent so much time on it and basically once you buy it, you'll have it for life. Um, and that's a really cool thing about it is because like if you get in early, 
um, then you will get it at a lower price point. And then also um, the other thing is, is like this will have a feedback portal. So clicking on that link, you can, um, <coughs> excuse me, clicking on that link, you can uh, let me know what you want, whether it's comments, questions, any bug reports or feature request. Just leave um, that right there and submit that so then I can update this. I'm probably gonna update the pack with massive updates monthly and do monthly videos on um, what's being changed in the pack and then little updates here and there will be kind of smaller email thread. So if you purchase the pack, um, you will basically get email updates on what is being added or changed. So, um, uh, so Soleil, twenty dollars is okay. Nothing for free in this time. So I've done a lot of free packs in the past, and that's like kind of what I'm gonna refer to. Like I always offer like free versions and stuff like that. But since this is something that I've spent so much time on, and honestly, this is something that I'm gonna use for the rest of my life, um, I think this should definitely be a paid pack because um, it's gonna be constantly growing. And for the mere fact of how fast everything is, it's pretty crazy. Um, so. I really like it. Um, let me read some of your comments. What's up, everyone? Sorry I can't like chat too much. I'm just kind of going through here because I want to get um, uh, this released as soon as possible. But I would love to give it away for free, but um, you know that I can't do that with this pack. However, I will have a ton, a ton of free stuff in the future. And I think what I'm gonna do is pretty much do a huge sale on my Selfie store and pretty much knock everything down to free um, once I launch this pack or something like that. But um, I was just kind of getting your price point. Here's my thoughts. Since I have spent so much time and this pack is different as in it's gonna be constantly updating, I think I'm gonna have a starting point at um, around 40 to $50. Um, and I know that's pretty steep, but the main thing is is that once you purchase it, you will have it for life. And that in itself is pretty bold because once I add more and like hopefully this thing will get to like a thousand to fifteen hundred transitions, then the value will go up. And I really want to maintain that forty to fifty dollar price range um, throughout. Um, but that's something that I'm definitely gonna be thinking about because just for like the mere fact of how fast you can add transitions, it, it it instantly like adds to the value of this pack. And I've sent it to a couple people and they've all been blown away by what is going on with this pack. And I'm just stoked to continue working on it because I'd like to get this released in the next week or two weeks. Like this is one of those transitions that I haven't added audio to, but there's pretty much anything. And honestly, it's going to be creator based. So whatever you guys want in the pack is what I'm gonna add to the pack. Like I have everything from elastic zooms with literally three audio layers. So there, there's like a, a ton of stuff here, but what I'm doing today, oh God, I hate when I get, there we go, beautiful. So my premiere has been acting up recently and I have been um, dealing with crashes right and left and it's pretty exciting, but basically what it, um, it's letting you know is that you should constantly um, update Premiere because I was running on like an older version and then it stopped all the crashing and stuff like that. But I found that Premiere only crashes when you are trying to do too many things and as soon as you get this wheel, if you click, it'll crash. But um, so that's kind of like where I'm at. Um, if you guys want to stick around and watch me um, add some sound effects, then go for it. Um, so what I'm currently on, I think I'm on Pixels. Uh, let me see, Pixel 6. Yeah, so I'm on Pixel 5 right now and all I'm doing is adding all of these sound effects and so I'll copy my sound effects layer and that's another huge thing about this pack that's different you have like a ton of sound effects that I'm including as I showed you earlier but like all of these sound effects will be included and this right here is the glitch sound effects so you can use all of these we have sub drops Um, and you even have like a ton of whooshes. Like, the, it just goes on and on. And the, the goal of this pack is to make everything faster. So if you find a sound that you like, you can either drag it from the project window or you can just drag it from the timeline and move it into your project. So 
we're gonna get started because I need to keep crunching this out. So if you guys have questions and you wanna stick around, just uh, let me know. Um, is there a preview video for all effects? So Patrick, thank you for saying that. On my launch site, um, I'm actually working on how I'm going to do that because I also want this pack to you be able to see everything that's included before you purchase because I know this is gonna be a big purchase and it's important. So what I'm gonna do is once I finish up all of these little effects, I'll probably just make um, a little um, GIF of all of the different transitions and that's gonna take me forever, but I think it's gonna be important. And then one thing I should mention, since there's a couple of you still in here, is that once this pack launches, like in the launch video, I'm gonna host a Gleam um, giveaway. So I'll probably release either five to 10, and all you have to do is follow the things on Gleam, um, like, like, like follow my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that, and subscribe to the channel, throw a comment, like anything like that, then that will, you'll be entered, entered in the giveaway. And then also what I was gonna do is basically um, make it so that if you won the giveaway and you already bought the pack for like $50 or something, I would give you a full refund. So you would get the pack for free. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, I think 10 is a fair amount to give away because um, that would be uh, quite a bit, but this is kind of like the process. So I'm just gonna continue editing and if you guys have any questions, just uh, let me know and I'll read them as I'm editing. But this is kind of what I go through. Uh, let me just close this bin so I can get a little bigger view. And um, this is why it takes so long, and this is kind of why the value of it is pretty high. So I go through here and find all these audio snippets of what I think will best match um, my transition. So that looks good. Um, and then coming through here, let's change it up. And that looks good. Let's fade this one in and give that a listen. So I think this one needs a little bit more of a punchy sound, so that right there. And just like that, I created um, some audio to the Pixel um, 6 effect. Now I'm gonna go to Pixel 7 and then do the same thing. It's a pretty tedious process, but I'm doing it for myself because I know I'm gonna use this all the time. And then on the other end, I'm also doing it for you guys because this is something I'm gonna use, so I know you definitely will use it. So let's add a little punchy sound right there. Cut it out, and then it changes into this. So that one looks good as well. Um, so yeah, just um, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, also, it would be great if you can let me know what you want in this pack, um, whether it's for future releases in the comments, and I'll read those as well so that I can make this thing amazing. Section, section and... All right, so moving forward to Pixel 8. Just copy these bad boys, and let's see what we're working with. So the pixel starts right about there. Let's drag this guy. And then there's a punchy one right there, punchy. It stays. Yep, it, and it stays on for a little bit. So like I said, I've been following you since you had 500 subscribers. That is incredible. Thank you like for the continued support and honestly, I continue to make videos on this channel because it is incredible. Like the support I get is ridiculous and having a like to dislike ratio of 98.7% is something that like I can't even describe. So thank you so much everyone uh, because the continued support is why I make videos and ultimately I'm just here trying to help the um, content creator because we're all out here trying to make videos we're all trying to do it better um, and I'm just sharing my creativity because if I had that when I was younger I feel like I'd be so far advanced than where I am right now and I just really enjoy that so thank you so much for sharing that we're gonna add a punch right here um, Beantown review 
Kyler, I'm going to send you an email on a job, so be on the lookout. Yeah, just shoot me an email. Um, go to my website at www.kylerholland.com, and then there's an inquiry section. You can send me one there. All right, the punch. Yep, that sounds good. Cool, so that's done. And pixel 10, almost done with the pixels. Melvin said camera shakes for music videos. Yeah, camera shakes would be awesome. Um, I think we're gonna get down to some of those. I think I did some like horizontal stutters, but these aren't really camera shakes. These are like more sh stutter stuff. Um, so um, definitely camera shakes is something that I'm gonna add to this pack. So I might as well just do that now um, in my website. Uh, go to products and then I'm gonna go here. You guys can actually do this now because this website is uh, still working. Like, don't worry about this down here. This is just a temporary stuff, but you can go to my website at www.kylerholland.com and click on effects suggestions right here. And that'll bring you to a form that you can fill out um, and uh, basically let me know what you want. So feature request and you said um, camera shakes. Kyler thekylerholland at gmail.com and submit. So then I will get that feedback. Um, so definitely check that out if you want to give me some feedback right away. So moving on to what's our final, we got pixel 10. Yeah, pixel 10. So scrub through here, we got a little bit in the beginning. Let's fade that in. Sometimes you don't need a lot. Um, oh, we got we got a little flicker in the end. Um, so we're coming down. Where's that flicker right there? Cool. And then I'm just gonna fade this last one out. Cool. So that one was done. So we're done with all the pixels. Um, and then let's go to fast strobe. Oh, I must have did some. So this is what I'm doing for strobes. Let's copy that layer, go to Fast Strobe 2, and see what we're working with. Cool, so we got some craziness going on. Let's see what we can make. I constantly save the project because sometimes I work too fast and then Premiere will crash, but... And let's see, do I want to add a whoosh or anything? No, whooshes don't really need them for strobes. What about a sub drop? We can try one, but I don't think a sub drop is going to be fitting for this. Mm, maybe if I did that. I just think the sub drop's too impactful, and for like this stuff, it's just like a quick strobe. Maybe if I slow one of these down, and the second one. Do we like the lower sounding strobe? Or do we like the higher pitch strobe? I may chop this up a little bit and then do a little bit of combination of both. Yeah, I'm gonna try the both one because you guys can constantly change this if you want to. Um, but I want this a, a pack or this pack to be very unique. So I've been building this up from the ground up. Um, Bean Town Review, sorry, forget the R. Oh, you're good, you're good. It's all right, it's on my channel if you forget. I, I, that gets often. At least you didn't call me like Kylie or Tyler or something. I always love when I get a business email and it's just like Tyler. Let's uh, chop this one up a little bit. Move it around. That one's good. Um, so yeah, DJ, you said you like the lower one. Um, I'll definitely do that. Let's make this one a little lower then. There we go. Um, everyone seems to like the lower, so I'll definitely slow this next couple down. Zaid said, hey man, big fan here. Learn a lot from your tutorials. Any new color grading presets coming up? Yeah, so Zaid, um, I'm ac actually gonna also include a lot of, um, maybe not in this pack because the way I'm doing it, I don't know if I can do sequence color grading stuff. Or actually I can. I can probably just do adjustment layer color grading stuff. Um, but I definitely will release some free presets like either a pack of 10, uh, stuff like that, color presets soon. And most of my color stuff should be free from here on out. Um, so let's do a fast stroke four. 
Let's really slow these guys down and see what they sound like. Whoa. Copy that one over there and... All right, that one's a little... And then I'm just gonna decrease the volume by five decibels. Let me uh, render this real quick so I can actually see what it's going to look like. The strobes happen pretty fast. Okay, I like that one. Let's do another fast strobe. One final one for the one one. Uh, Let's do another high pitch to low pitch strobe. The big thing is just making this effect look the way it sounds and sound the way it looks. And that's something I've kind of been struggling with because, I mean, there's a ton of transitions going on. So it's just kind of like figuring out what works the best. Like here's just like a, a standard white strobe. And all of these transitions are designed in a way that you can literally change what it looks like, what's happening. Like you could add overlays to get different looks because ultimately it's going to make your footage custom. Um, so that's something that I want you to start playing around with. It's not just, it is drag and drop, but it's also drag and drop with the ability to customize anything you want. So mm, maybe I'm going to get a different like sound effect. So let's go to glitch sounds and then scrub through here and see what I want to use. Yeah, let's do this guy. Let's drag both of these down here because I can probably use them. I'm just going to right click and lower by 10 decibels and start to drag this in. OK, let's move this here. Let's just chop it up a little bit and then bring the second one in. and then chop up the back half and copy it over. Hmm, how do I feel about that? I guess I kind of like that. I can always change it later if I want to. Let's keep going on with some strobes. The cool thing is sometimes when they match up perfectly, it's like less work I have to do on my end. But, um, all right. So, Beantown Review, how did you get to take part in the latest Zune YouTube video? Hmm, what video are you talking about? Let me look up on YouTube. Zune Tech. Uh, are you referring to this one? Uh, yeah, you might be referring to this one. Because I, I filmed this uh, for my buddy Josh. Oh yeah, that is me. So yeah, this is um, a video. With turning, turning on and using Focus Peak lens is a pretty big deal, deal too. 16 yeah. millimeter, the Zeiss so that I'm me. using, I absolutely um, love it. Basically, we were out in Cali meeting up with some friends and Josh is actually um, a June ambassador or something like that and he's my buddy. So we were just out shooting and having some fun. He did a dope tutorial on this, so check that out for sure. But just kind of like um, being friends and then, um, yeah, from there. Uh, are you creating these sounds too? Yeah, so pretty much a lot of these sounds I created from scratch uh, with Audition and just Distortion. Um, other ones are just like free sounds. Um, and then most of them are like, some of them are like my voice using and just like distorting them. And then others is like recording like old school records and modifying the shit out of everything. Um, so kind of fun. Um, what's up, Danny? How's it going? Uh, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, let's keep trucking along. Strobe four. Oh, let's drag this down here. Copy. That one looks good. Let's copy all these settings and then go to strobe five. Mm, 
move this guy over a little bit. One frame. I need a little bit more punch in the beginning. And here. I think we need like a another glitch sound. That'll work. Let's drag this guy down. Copy him right there. Delete the end half. And just fade him out. And always chop up your clip just to make it a little bit. How do I feel about that? Yeah, that one works. Uh, a light heat. We are done with strobes. Now we have strobe color, and this is just kind of something that's like it messes with um, the HSL. You got like your saturation. So really, like there's a lot in here, and there's a lot of really unique stuff. Um, so yeah, going through here, uh, Danny. Uh, let's see what. Hello from Indonesia. What's up, Roundy? Um, I learn a lot from your YouTube. Thank you. Um, I totally appreciate that because I'm always trying to help people. Um, in any way that I can. So let's drag this guy around. Whoop. Mm, this one needs to be, yep. And there's another one right there. Don't need that, delete this guy. I don't like this base. Yeah, that's so much better. I may delete that on those other um, strobes. Um, what's up, Thorank? How's it going? Um, Daji says, hey, Kyler, not on topic, but I'd love to see more Lightroom tutorial videos uh, like the, the Nolan or Mirror one. Yeah, I definitely want to. Um, I think those are awesome because it's, it, I like the live stream tutorial-esque because you guys can ask me questions as we're going. Um, nice. And then um, from there, we can just kind of talk into anything. But any particular like tutorial in Lightroom or just kind of like whatever I'm feeling. Move that one back. That's good. Because Lightroom is awesome. It's a really powerful software. I want to do some more stuff in the future with that. Um, Danny said, um, but how much is the pack going to cost? Uh, 40 to 50 um, because this pack will constantly be growing. And as I explained in the beginning, um, it's going to be creator based and constantly updating. So you guys can tell me what you want and I will add that in updates. But I'm planning on launching um, about an update video every month um, because this pack is something that I'm going to use um, for the rest of my life. And I, I, I don't. Cause like I know you can buy so many different packs to get everything, but I kind of wanted this pack to be a one-stop shop for everything. D -d 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 Thanks, Weary, for saying that. Egus says, Kareen, what is up, my dude? Um, Dread Street Original, love your work, brother. Cheers from Hungary. Man, you guys are coming all over today. Where is everyone from? We got Hungary, India, California, the States. That one, gotta move that one back a little bit. Gonna add another little one right here. Cool. Love when it just works like that. HSL or HLS. This one's pretty punchy, so let's. Nothing there. Punch and punch cool uh, da, 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 da. Norway where are you? you are from Norway I really want to visit there because I did a, um, a little video um, it was kind of like a uh, what is it I oh, was just checking the stream um, it was kind of a video contest and some guy from Norway posted a video that was really freaking dope this one is kind of a green. Punch. 
punch in and punch in. That one's good. And then we got blue. And then the strobe colors are done. So that one's a punch. That one's a punch as well. Cool. All right, moving on. Now we have the stutters. So we have a horizontal stutter. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Let's just... Maybe this. Drag this guy down. Uh, let's give it. Mm. Not bad, but let's chop it up into each individual stutter. So this is why this takes so long, because I'm thinking about each individual stutter. Chop that up. Move this one here. Move that one there. And then we need a, a moving back one right here. And move that one there. And a big punch right here. that one all right let's give that a listen uh, let's see if we can add some sub to this negative 10. Um, Antonin, what's up? How are you doing? Um, Dweeky said, just want to say thank you for all your tutorial and all the effects packs. Cheers from Indonesia. Anytime, my friends, um, this is kind of why I've been um, doing this stuff because I want something that I can use as well as you guys can use as well. Maybe if I chop up that base with yeah, let's just chop up the base in here. Okay, not my favorite, but um, I'm going to save it for now and then maybe potentially change it later but um let's see did we do all the zooms i think i did do all the zooms yep that was always fun because you can get the punchy punchy zooms and then with the pixel zooms you have like the uh these ones are like the pixel zooms are probably one of my favorite because it's just like But yeah, let's see. Um, Daji says, I guess Lightroom tutorials about the famous ones like Sam Coulter, Peter McKinnon, and MS Sparkle. By the way, greetings from Peru. What is up, Peru? Also another place I want to go to. I want to move on to some spins. Pixel Warp Spin Clockwise 1. What does this look like? So it's just like a little spin, and there's a pixel effect that I applied to it. Um, cool. So I'm feeling like it definitely needs a whoosh. So let's go to the whooshes and find which one we like. That one's pretty nice because it has that underlying base. Uh, um, I'll definitely get on to that. Uh, Ratna says, thank you for teaching me anytime. Cheers from Indonesia. Tony said, when will this pack be done and how much? You've been talking about this for years and years. I know. I know. Let's get an applause for that one. 
Oh, gosh. Dang that. It's... Um, so I'm hoping to release this in the next two weeks um, because I want it to be perfect and I want it to be a good release, um, not just some shitty release. So I got to work on like a launch video, product design, that type of stuff. And um, I've basically been working on it for the past two months. Um, yeah, but yeah, where he says 40 to $50, um, definitely. Um, Tony's like, we don't need the sound, but okay. Yeah, so like that's another thing is like um, in the pack, if you want the sound, it's there. And the reason being is because when you overlay it over your clips with the audio, it, it really does make it that much um, more high quality. Um, so for example, if you just like, um, with this pack, like if you want to drag a mirror on, you'll drag it on and you'll have all the sound effects, which honestly helps the transition because if you have it without the sound, it sounds a little bit weird. But if you don't want the sound effects, all you have to do is uncheck all your audio layers and then you can drag on the mirror effect and it'll drag it on without the sound effects. Um, and that's something I'll definitely talk about in like the launch video, stuff like that. But um, that brings up another important topic that with this pack, um, I, I've noticed that like other packs kind of just give you like some crappy directions or something that you don't really know what's going on. Um, and in this one, I'll have everything like with videos that you can watch as well as PDF documents that you can read if you don't like watching um, videos. How do we feel about this one? Let's try that one. It's kind of cool. We'll keep that one for one of them and then we'll just change it up in the next one. So we were at the spin pixel warp spin clockwise. And another thing that I've been working on is like organization. Like this pack, as you can see, it's organized by what is in it and it's color coded as well. It'll work with all versions of Premiere. Um, but some of the effects might not work with those versions because um, it is just an outdated version and like VR Digital Glitch doesn't work in 2018 or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's just being Pixel Warp 2. Okay, so our pixels are getting, I'm gonna change this to half resolution so I don't just like bog down my software. So I need like another little glitch glitch effect that I can just add into here. That'll work. Let me chop this guy up, drag him down, and chop it up a little bit just so I can use that for my punchy when I need him. Um, but thanks for that, Tony. Um, Saludos, what's from, what's up in Chile or Chile? I want to go there. Rotness, hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Tony said, thank you, brother. I'll be buying the pack soon as it drops. Really appreciate that, Tony. Um, um, honestly, the main thing I can ask is like, as soon as you get it, just check it out and literally rip it apart because um, it'll get that much more. Uh, I, mean, I don't I want to say better, but like it'll get better from feedback. And you guys give me what you like, what you um, want, and honestly, that will um, help me increase the quality of this pack. So I really appreciate that. That one looks good. Um, spin clockwise three. So I think um, what I did with these spins is like um, I made some of them spin more. And this one has more pixels as it as it counts up. And another thing is like, if you guys like certain transitions and stuff, just let me know, and then I can make more of them. Um, and I, I do want uh, once I release the pack, I do want to go into some tutorials of how I created some of these transitions because the process is very um, pretty meticulous. And each of these effects, I've custom. Uh, manipulated the ramps and the speed and like what's going on like all of these are changeable um, but that's also what I want you guys to play with as well if you want a different look that one looks good let's keep trucking through these pixel warp da -da 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 -da. 
So this one's like a... Let's chop this guy up a little bit more. So is this my is this my whoosh layer? Yeah, so I can't delete that whoosh layer, but I can chop this guy up. Cool. Sometimes like a little choppiness um, definitely changes the sound, which is pretty fun. Well, um, you guys should let me know how long I should stream for because I'll just kind of open it up to questions. Um, about the pack or like what I'm working on um, honestly you can ask me any question because I'm just kind of like trucking through this and getting it done as fast as I can because I, I, I've been dying to release this um, and this one's just like a regular spin so I'm thinking this just needs a whoosh let's go see which whoosh I want I think it needs a quicker rouge, so let's go over here. Let's combine this rouge and this rouge. Oops, spin clockwise. Change this rouge. Let's see what the center point is. Move it over. Cool, so we got that little base at the end, and then let's single out this layer. I think that's the middle. And drag this over here. What if I do this and just fade that one out so then it's just that base at the end? Because I don't think I need that whole like. Maybe we'll do that a little bit sooner. I do like how that one sounds. So I'm going to keep that and then keep trucking along. All right, Dave said, for sure we'll be buying this. You were the first guy I started watching for tutorials when I started out. Um, many thanks, man, and much love from London. Dave, that means so much. Thank you for your continued support, and that just, it just makes me so happy. Like, I'm just really excited to finish this pack so then I can constantly continue working on it. It's like once you finish, it's like you're never actually finished. I'm just trying to get it ready for a launch. But that is awesome. I'm excited to see what you guys make with this stuff and um, um, honestly what you request. Because if you request something, I will add it. Like if you say, oh my gosh, I like when you do, the, like the guy earlier was saying, talking about camera shakes. Like I'll make a whole section on camera shakes. Like literally all I have to do is duplicate one of these and then type camera shakes and then I'll manipulate all of this stuff and then make a camera shakes folder and then update it. And once you purchase it, like you'll have that. Like you'll have all of the updates. And it's just gonna be it's gonna be a good time. So this one has a little bit more spin, so I'm gonna add that on to the end. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. More spinny means more adding. So spin, where where are we at? We're on spin clockwise three so spin counterclockwise now and this is one I'm gonna drag a little bit sooner so I'm noticing a little bit like my spin is a little off and the cool thing about this is I can constantly update it so what is going on here I just think it's starting out a little. Oh, let's see why. Ah, that's why. So I'm gonna increase that a little bit. And that should start off a little bit smoother. Yeah, that's more like it. Cool, that's what I like. That's what I like. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Spin counterclockwise. All right. Uh, Steon said, hi, amazing. I buy the first one. I use it every day in my workflow. That is awesome. Um, some of my earlier packs are always good to check out. Um, but 
this one will be my go-to for the rest of like my time just because of this I don't like how fast these are starting I need to because like, I made it fairly quickly but I just need to manipulate some of these there we go oh yeah we got a little bit of a back spin going on there so I like that and we'll drag that guy out somebody texted me oh damn it there we go and then one final one for the spin counterclockwise. Do we like when these spins start to do that little backspin or do we like when it starts right away? Because if we like the backspin, then I'll just add that in a little bit by dragging it up like this. Well, that was a little too abrupt, but down a little bit maybe. I just need to change this to, nope. Ease in. Drag that up, and that should be good. Yeah, I like that a lot better, cool. All right, now we have spin hold. So spin hold is pretty fun because these ones are something that, um, what is the new on this one? Um, so, Stian, what you missed earlier is what I was talking about. Is it's constantly going to be updating. It's massive. Um, there's a ton of audio effects included, and um, everything's like customly tailored to you. So if you want more in a certain pack, then you just let me know. But yeah, so the spin hold ones, these ones, I just kind of added a little hold throughout the transition, um, just to create something different because I haven't seen anything like this, and I was like, let's do it. Um, so well, some of them are a little glitchy because I'm playing at full resolution. I should probably just bump that to half. But yeah, so let's um, add some sound effects. So it's gonna need, definitely need that whoosh. And then do I cut it entirely on the holds? Let's see, what does that sound like? What if I cut it? Hmm. Add those fade in, fade out. I'm gonna add another sound effect. It needs something on those pauses. You know what I mean? Like it needs, um, like almost maybe we can try a glitch. this guy on the pauses I'm gonna definitely slow it down and then chop it up I don't think I'm gonna chop up the whoosh I'm just gonna chop up the glitches. Now that I think about it. Uh, let's see what this does. Hmm, not sold on how this one sounds so far. Yeah, I'm not sold on these ones yet. Maybe I'll keep trucking along and see what I want to do. Um, AR production. Anybody uh, solve my problem when I cl click color panel and then Adobe is closed? Any solution, guys? Um, so one thing that I wanted to do a tutorial on is cleaning out your cache and stuff because um, if you don't do that, uh, then it'll basically um, slow your um, timeline down and everything and that's basically in the edit uh, you go to preferences oh my gosh I can't click today go to edit preferences and then your media cache 
and then you can delete unused and go to this thing. But I wanted to do a more in-depth one where you actually go to the database. Um, and in your database, then you clean it out entirely. And um, I have some steps there that will literally speed up your um, Premiere. So I'll probably do that here soon um, so you can have a solution for that AR Productions. Yeah, I'm going to come back to these spin holds because I don't really know what I want to do with those guys. So let's go to spin kaleidoscope. So these ones are kind of um, fun. It's basically like a uh, kaleidoscope effect that's going on and it um, spins with that kaleidoscope. Those ones work pretty well. Let's see what this one looks like. Da, 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 da. Just responding to a text right now. Give me a little uh, effect for that one. Okay, no problem, Bob. <laughs> All right. Um, what was I going to do? Now's a good time because I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Um, and while I'm in the bathroom, y'all should go to my Instagram and check it out. I just released this new video. Um, you should uh, just uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. All right, how many times did that play? Where is my mic at? All right, here's my mic, putting it back on. Got my headphones, and we are good. So yeah, give me a follow on Instagram. If you come from the live stream, just drop a comment and uh, let me know. Oh look, I had a couple followers, so probably you guys in the live stream. We had Andre, and let me check you guys out. Brother some dope stuff let's see what's my favorite picture that's pretty dope Ooh, the little lens flare I think the colors on this one are real nice let's see and we had another one could be from the stream could not be from the stream I don't know but let's get back to working because that's what we need to do all right, we have another kaleidoscope spin. And these ones are easy because, like, the spin ones, it's just like all the uh, sound effects are pretty similar. These ones just go the opposite way. Boom. Again, I might change the speed at how these go. I like that. Move on to the next one. Yeah, some of these are faster. So this one I think needs another whoosh. Mm. Let's add that one. Single that. Yep. 
I'm gonna go shift it to the right. Perfect. All right, now we have the warp spins. So the warp, let me copy these layers. The warp spins are kind of, um, like they have um, a lens distortion on it and they like warp in. So I think I can bleep that second one. Yeah, those look good. So it needs more bass with it. No, 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 no. Next one. Oh, half resolution again. I need to shift this again. There we go. That's the hit. That's the hit I was looking for. So let me change that one in the beginning. Shift this. Well, cool. Um, with the 17 people that are in here, Miguel, this will be a release coming um, soon. Uh, probably in the next two weeks or sooner if I can really crunch through and get this done. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. All right, there we go, boom chakalaka. Same thing. That one looks good. This one looks good. That one looks good as well. And then once I get done with this, um, I am gonna update the change log and then take some questions. So if you have any questions or anything like that, or just wanna ask me something real quick before I close the live stream, um, just let me know. All right, so here's the change log. Dun, 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 let's see, what's the date today? The 12th. Um, let's see, I added all spin. All spin, sound, added, yeah, sound effects. Sound effects to all spin transitions. I'm gonna go to the uh, spin hold ones after this. Uh, let's see, what other sound effects did I do? We did the spins, we did glitches. Did I get that already? All glitch, yep. Uh, da, 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 da. And the zoom ones were already done. That was done yesterday, maybe. Yep, yesterday. So that's good. That's all I got to update for now. And that's something else that I'm going to do with this pack is um, using uh, the launch site or whatever. You can see the change log. You can just click on it. And that'll give you to this page where you can literally see how much I'm updating it and, and all that stuff. Just so you can see that I am putting work into it. Um, once you guys tell me what you want. Uh, there we go. So let me move this over here. All right, read some comments. Miguel or Oliver says, "Wow, thanks, man." Um, yeah, Miguel, I'm definitely gonna show how to install it, and that's something else that I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna include a bunch of tutorials on the actual um, effect itself, on how to do it, um, troubleshooting pretty much everything um, for both Mac and PC. But um, with that, I think I'm gonna close the live stream so I can really get to work and uh, focus this in. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We'll do one more little applause. <laughs> Love this thing. So again, huge shout out to y'all. Um, if you wanna see like some updates, all you gotta do is go to my website um, right here on the homepage and then go to products. You'll see the ultimate effects pack um, don't worry about this thing at the bottom uh, because that's probably I don't know if I'm gonna put the actual product there or if I'm gonna do something else or link to it but this will be the launch page and I'm gonna be working on like um, more designs and what you can see because um, I want you to be able to see all of the effects um, before it's released maybe it'll probably just be a video or it'll be a ton of gifts like this um, but that will take me so much time <sighs> but it'll be worth it so Thanks for sticking around. Um, Miguel, that's awesome. I'm glad this is what you're looking for. But um, I'll see you guys very, very soon. And I can't wait to show you 
the launch video for this pack. Peace.